prepare to be astonished. That's right, friends. You are here at Melatone in Mondays, getting to watch me go ahead and send everything off absolutely live, waiting for it to tell me I'm on air here as well. And I am... As the astonishment continues, you are here at Melatonin uh, Mondays, reminding you that uh, it's Crystal and I here, bringing you something short as you get ready for sleep, or maybe you just can't sleep, or maybe your studio has fleas. Hey guys, check this out. Um, it's 9-11, and I wanted to go ahead and mention this. Um, and Crystal dying behind the cameras here. Um, and Melatonin Monday is not known very often for being serious, and we're going to get to the, uh, the more zaniness next, but it's 9-11, and as a serious commentator and a journalist, we would be remiss if we did not mention 9-11 as uh, Melatonin Mondays falls upon it. Um, hey Sam, would it be an, an idea, they do say moment of silence, but could we have 30 seconds of silence for 9-11? Uh, 30 seconds will be a long, we'll have no viewers left, Christelle, but, uh, one moment here. To remember these people. If we do 30 seconds, Christelle, we'll have no viewers left. It's America. There's no, there's no, uh... Well, we do have a show to do, you guys. And, and we're in America. There's no, t there's no, uh, attention span here. They'll be on their cell phone if I do that. Okay. True. Uh, all jokes aside, um... How many of you noticed that there was a huge interest in Islam? That's people jumping from buildings. How many of you realized that there's been a huge interest in Islam in the last 17 years? Almost as soon as the planes hit the towers, there was this sudden upsurge in an interest in Islam. Well, why would that be? That'd be like having an upsurge in Satanism after the Charlie Manson killers. Um, it, does, it didn't make any sense. It's a sign that something is being moved in a direction that they very much want it to be moved into so that we as a people can go towards whether you want to call it the quickening or the, the last book of the Bible, of course, Revelations. Whether you think it's just a part in the tribulation or whether you don't believe in any of it. Maybe you just don't believe in God or the devil. Well, then you have to see that this is cyclical, cyclical, however you want to say that. And uh, for us to not see that we are in a period now where we are at risk for going in a very dark, dark direction, then it's not to see, it's, it's not to see history. We saw this in the interest in fascism that rose over the Treaty of Versailles, which led to Adolf Hitler's rise. We've seen it in uh, as far back as Rome. You could even see when Rome was going to fall and bring in the Dark Ages. We are where Rome was. And I'm telling you, this, this opening of borders that we're seeing and this hatred of Trump simply because he wants to be <coughs> a good man, it doesn't matter if you agreed with him or not. I don't care if you hated him. Have you ever heard anybody say the kinds of things about the president that they're saying now that they want him dead or that they want him killed or assassinated? What is happening? Why are people fighting, closing the borders to something that is this dangerous? Think about it, friends. Really stop and think about it. Make sure we know who's coming in and make sure we know why. That's 9-11, friends. Let me know your favorite thought. Not favorite. Let me know your most memorable thoughts about it as to when it happened. And uh, we're going to move on here to a man who caught a fish in his house. Look at this. Um, it's Hurricane Harvey. Christelle, look at this. That's not a fish. Well, hold oh. on. Let's just watch this. She'll get it right, I'm sure, any moment. This only has 20 seconds left. That's a man trying to catch a fish. I'll give you guys the story here in a minute, I promise. That's not a fish, Christo. Oh, dang it! What about okay. this one? It's a dolphin. He didn't catch a dolphin? Oh, oh. Oh. A man in Houston, Texas, made the best of flooding in his house caused by Hurricane Harvey on August 26th. 
eliciting, that's the same one, eliciting laughter from his daughter for his dove into the flood water to capture a fish that swam inside of his house. Saul of Saldana was filmed by his daughter Viviana, who posted videos to special media, social media. It wasn't special media. In the clip, Saul has been diving into the water a number of times as he attempts to capture the fish, as you saw here. That's, that's not a fish. And Christelle having some trouble there, which swam inside when the family opened the back door to the house in an attempt to let out the water that had inundated the residence. I like how they worded that. Elsewhere in Houston, the result of the flooding was more serious. The National Rental Service said the event was unprecedented. So our uh, friends that says, uh, why go out looking for food when it's in your living room? He wrote on a description. And uh, making the most out of a very bad situation there. I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's fish. That's all right. I'll talk about Irma for a minute. You'll get the fish ready. We'll give her some more time here. Um, Irma has come in quite powerfully, friends. And if you think about what that could mean in the long term, we're seeing hurricanes right now ever worsening. Remember, uh, it's in the end times. We're supposed to see hurricanes and earthquakes in diverse places, aren't we, Christelle? Oh yeah. Well, we're, yeah. we're seeing that now. We're seeing wars and rumors of wars. So if you believe in the Bible, then you have to believe that we're in a horrible time. And uh, we have, if you don't believe in it, then you have to believe we're in one of those cycles that are also a horrible time. And we're out of time. So you got your fish ready? Is that somebody peeing? No, it, it says fish. All right, guys, that's uh, Melatonin Mondays. Uh, this, the word of the day is sound effects. Type sound effects in the comment line and give us your address, and I'll make sure we send you something free. Oh, my God.